Hey everyone, I'm Lindsay Sheets, MedPeds class of 2023, and I am so glad you're interested in our program. I'm excited to be your guide, your cruise director, if you will, for the most anticipated part of the interview day, a tour of our amazing, fantastical hospital. So let's get to it. Our hospital is located in the heart of Baltimore and serves an incredibly diverse patient population, mostly comprised of patients in the surrounding Baltimore community, but also those seeking specialty care across the country. Our hospital is located in the heart of our community where many of our patients live. The pediatric and adult hospital are located on one central campus and are interconnected from inside, so you can easily walk inside from one side to another within a few minutes. This is a huge plus when you happen to be on medicine or peds and want to run over to the other side to visit friends on a break or, as more often is the case, choose the better noon conference food. Here's a plug for Ekebin. Some of us live within walking, biking, or scooting distance of the hospital. For those who decide to drive to work, we have multiple parking garages located in close proximity to the hospital, all with direct access to the hospital. Here you can see the bridge that crosses Orlean Street from one of our main garages to the main hospital. We're currently in the bridge that connects to the Children's Center. There is a separate bridge that is located a block down Orlean Street, which connects the same garage to the adult side of the hospital. You'll know you've entered the Charlotte R. Bloomberg Children's Center building immediately as soon as you see the fun and whimsical fish, I think they're fish, hanging from the ceiling. The pediatric hospital was relocated to this new state-of-the-art building in 2012, which houses over 200 private inpatient rooms across 12 floors, including a 45-bed NICU, 28-bed PICU, and pediatric emergency department. The pediatric emergency room is located on the ground level, immediately below us, which we'll get to visit later. On this same level, immediately to the right as you cross the bridge is the large and bright Schaefer Auditorium, where we have many of our educational lectures on the pediatric side, including our pediatric noon conferences, Barton Child's case conferences, M&M conferences, as well as many social events and gatherings. The majority of the Children's Center is devoted to inpatient pediatric care, while almost all of the outpatient general and specialty pediatric clinics are housed in the Harriet Lane Clinic, located in the building before you cross the Orleans Bridge. One of the things I've come to appreciate on both sides of the hospital are the floor to ceiling windows throughout most of the hospital, where you stop and catch an amazing view of the sunrise or sunset, or the many neighborhoods of Baltimore, including views of the harbor. The majority of the general pediatrics patients are on the 9th and 10th floor. The 11th floor is dedicated to our peds onc patients, and the 12th floor is our pediatric psychiatry inpatient floor. The pediatric patient rooms are all private, with plenty of space to fit all members of the team and all of your patients' toys, which sets the space for our patient-centered rounds. There are two general pediatric teams, Neil and Zinkum as well as multiple subspecialty teams that you will have the opportunity to work on, including pediatric cardiology, pulmonology, GI, and renal. These teams have separate team workspaces that are your home base when on service and where many of the impromptu teaching and chalk talks happen. The workrooms are located on the general pediatrics floors, making it easy to quickly run and see a patient, but also for subspecialty consulting teams to stop by and update you on their thoughts which often is a great way to learn and meet many attendings and fellows. It's always bright and cheery on the Pete's side, from the creative decorations across the wall to the most glorious playrooms on every unit that you are bound to find your patients in when they are nowhere to be found in their room. The Pediatric Residency Headquarters, a large suite of offices and rooms located on the eighth floor, all dedicated to the residency program. This is where many of us escape to when we have downtime. There is a library where our mailroom is located and a separate cozy resident lounge where you can always find someone to chat with. In the program suite, you can also find the Utahwood Conference Room where we have morning reports two mornings a week, senior report two days a week, and intern report two days a week. The chief offices are also located in this area so you can easily access them for any questions or concerns you may have. 
Heading back down to the main floor, you can look across and see the adult emergency room on the ground floors just across the way. As you walk from the Children's Center to the adult buildings, you will see one of our go-to eating places called Balducci's. And on the other side, you can pick up custom order salads or sandwiches. I have a salad that is my favorite salad ever, and I get it every day and it never gets old. That being said, we have noon conference food offerings on both medicine and pediatrics almost daily. Yay for free food, am I right? Right outside of Balducci's is one of my favorite spots to escape to on a beautiful sunny day, the outdoor courtyard. The other food options are housed in the main cafeteria, located closer to the adult towers. There you can find pizza, Subway, Baja Express, among many other options. There is also an outdoor courtyard right outside that cafeteria area. Up on the eighth floor of the Osler building is where you will find the resident lounge for internal medicine, where you'll find lounge space, workspace, and now a small workout space that houses a Peloton, which is pretty cool. As you may have already heard on internal medicine, you're assigned to one of four firms, Barker, Janeway, which is my firm, the best, Longcope, or Thayer. Each firm has their own dedicated ACS, or chief, who serves as the attending for the firm general medicine team. These firms have been created so you have the chance to work longitudinally with a cohort of residents, creating a space for more community, camaraderie, and fun competitions. Each Osler firm has a dedicated floor within the Osler building, which houses the patients on their services, as well as the team workroom. Back on the main floor, you will find Herd Hall, where we have grand rounds and other large events, including our yearly turkey round skits, which is a competition between the firms. And I will just say that Janeway has won for the last six years. And if you weren't already overwhelmed by your resident lounge choices, there is another resident lounge located on the main level as well. That is a large space dedicated to residents across all programs to work or to hang out. And this is also where you can find many hospital-wide residency wellness events. On campus are many of the original buildings of Johns Hopkins Hospital when it opened in 1889, which now houses mostly administrative offices. One of the hospital's three original buildings features the beautiful Victorian dome that is visible from many parts of the city and has become an iconic feature of the hospital. Now to the last stop on our tour, the Johns Hopkins Outpatient Center, known by most as Jayhawk. This is a huge outpatient center where patients go for the majority of specialty and surgical outpatient care. This is also where many of the categorical internal medicine residents have their continuity clinic.